Hello, this is Craig, and I got sick, so I stopped working on the game, but now I'm better, and I figure I'll try and make a video to kick myself back into the game, uh, you know, to excite, uh, get get uh, get all, all excited for it again. As before, you can pick any of three races when you first start up. Previously, you couldn't select the uh, uh, colony screen. Now you can, and you can build your colony. Now the thing about building a colony is that it maxes out. So you have a certain number of slots depending on the size of your colony. Now you can still deselect things. So it's not like you're stuck once you've bought uh, bits of a colony, but your colony has a maximum size cap that increases over time. And you can inhabit other worlds with other colonies if you'd like. Um, here's the Shipwrights Club, which is more or less the same. The children give you a little bit of an insight into various pieces of the gameplay. The quest broker actually brokers quests now, although he's only still got one quest. I have to build a, a quest creation system. Uh, once you have accepted a quest, you can build a ship to do it. In this case, we want labs, so there we go. Um, and this is the screen where you keep track of all your quests. Now, in the full version of, you know, the, the, the magical, everything is released and polished version, um, this is all handled by the server and time progresses at the proper rate. But in this case, uh, I can fast forward. So here's me fasting, fasting forward, forwarding the time. And you can see that the asteroid mining quest is coming on towards completion and is completed. And I gained a little bit of money for it. Uh, also, the money trickles in from the colonies every hour as well. Um, so, that is where the game stands. And I've got to radically improve the quest system and do a couple of other things. But, uh, it's kind of, um, you know, at a point where it's at least something that isn't disgustingly bad. That's it.